In our first problem in the second row, we've got 11 and 3. So 11 times 3, well, that's 33. And 11 plus 3, that's positive 14. Now, all of a sudden, we switch things up. Instead of me giving the two numbers, I gave you the product, and you have to find the other number. So, in other words, 12 times what gives me negative 108? Well, we know a positive times a negative, that's going to be a negative. And then we think 12 times what is 108? Well, 12 times 9 is 108. So, it'll be negative 9 will be my number. And then the number below, I'm going to add 12 and negative 9, and I'll say 3. Well, let's do the next one the same way. It multiplies to a positive 128, so I know it's negative. So what's 128 divided by 8 really is what I'm saying, and that's 16. And then negative 8 plus negative 16 is negative 24. Let's go to row 3. Now this time I gave you the sum. So 5 plus what gives us negative 6? Well, that would be like negative 11. So it's really negative 6 minus 5 would give me negative 11. And then 5 times negative 11 is negative 55. We go to the next one. Negative 12 plus what gives us negative 10? Well, that would be a positive 2 because negative 12 plus 2 is negative 10. And then negative 12 times 2 is negative 24. Now it gets interesting. You've got to come up with both numbers. And what are you going to do? I need two numbers that multiply to 33, but add to 14. Well, there's a lot less numbers that multiply to 33, at least nice whole numbers. I want integers. And that then add to 14. So I'm going to start looking at the numbers that just multiply to 33. So I think to myself, 1 and 33. Well, that's 34. That's not, that's not going to work, is it? Let's try, let me see. 2 does not go into 33, but 3 does. 3 and 11. Oh, look at that. 3 times 11 is 33, and 3 plus 11 is 14. So that one works out perfectly. Okay, let's take a look at some others here. So I'm going to look at the bottom now. Now notice, I look at the signs here. I multiply to a positive and I add to a negative. Well, the only way I can do that is to have two negative numbers. So I start going through my process. So I say 1 or negative 1 and negative 18. That's positive 18, but that, is, that does not add to negative 9, does it? Then 2 goes into 18 nine times. They add to 11. So I'm, I'm getting closer, but that's not the correct answer either. Let's try 3. Negative 3 and negative... Oh, there we go. Negative 3 and negative 6. That multiplies to 18, but that adds to negative 9. Now, if I look at my next one, I have to multiply to a negative, and I have to add to a negative. So I know... One's positive, one's negative. And since it adds to a negative, I know the bigger one is negative. So I'll start going through my list here again. Let me erase some of this stuff. So I'll start here. If you notice, I like to do this systematically. You might know the answer right away and just go straight to that. But I'm going to go 1 and negative 70. Well, that's negative 69. That's way too... That's not negative 9, is it? Then I'll go 2 in negative 35. Well, that gives me negative 33. Not there yet. Does 3 go into 70? 3 does not go into 70 because it's a decimal. So let's try 4. Oh, but 4 doesn't go into it either. I'm sorry about that. Let's try 5. Oops. I'm going to highlight that and delete that. So I'll try 5 in negative 14. Oh, there we have it, 5 and negative 14, because 5 plus negative 14 is negative 9. And 5 times negative 14 is negative 70. Finally, let's take a look at negative 48 and negative 2. Same thing. I need a number that's positive and negative. I need the bigger one to be negative. 
So I'll start with 1 in negative 48. That does not add to negative 2. I'll go 2 in negative 24. That adds to negative 22. I'll try 3 in negative 16. That's negative 13. I'll go 4 in negative 12. That's negative 8. I'm getting closer, but not there yet. 5 does not go into 48. 6 goes in there. 6 in negative 8. So I'll go 6 in negative 8. Did you happen to notice that in the second row, in the first column, and the third row, the last column, those were actually the same problem. I just gave you some different given information.